G'day, welcome to Partakers Think Spot at the start of a new week on Monday the 14th of November 2011. Today, once more, we have Jim and Joy sharing and praying with us. Hi there. Isn't it great to be a believer? Or maybe the Sunday services yesterday were not quite an inspiration to you as you begin this new week. Perhaps you didn't get much from the services yesterday. You listen, but other thoughts have been allowed to crowd in of concerns in the family or with friends or neighbours. You've not begun the week with gusto. Your morning quiet time today didn't go very well either. You, you, you thought your thoughts didn't get much higher than the ceiling. You had to drag yourself not only out of bed, but through your devotions as well. And you're asking yourself this morning, is this what the Christian life is all about? What's gone wrong? Am I not meant to be a joyful, triumphant Christian? Last week, I mentioned the enemy, the devil, who's always prowling around like a lion to take away our satisfaction in Christ. Perhaps you forgot the warning I gave you last week. Don't worry, I expect many others did as well. They didn't take the warning seriously. Our memories are sometimes short on things we should remember, and we rather remember things we ought not to remember, like grudges against others, and those sinful thoughts that come back again and again. In the Bible, Jesus says, through the Apostle Paul, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. Your mind, my mind, must be guarded and guided by God. You see, our minds are ready for all kinds of infiltrations, and our part is to guard our minds and put useful, good, healthy thoughts in. The key is the question. What would Jesus do in this situation? How would he have me think? What can I do today for his kingdom and his namesake? Is there someone that you can meet up with and encourage? Maybe someone to help financially? Someone who needs sympathy? Someone who needs a car lift? Take your mind off yourself and focus on others and their needs. You see, minds can soak up all kinds of useless stuff if we let them. Remember Joseph in the book of Genesis? When he was approaching his brothers to see how the shepherding was going, what was going on in their minds? The festering thoughts that Joseph thought he was above them and far more important. The effect on them was intense jealousy. This led them to treat him cruelly and throw him into a pit and then sell him into Egyptian slavery. So where did it all go wrong? I suggest in the mind. What should they have done? They should have examined themselves while talking and listening to God and realized in His holy presence how these thoughts were wrong, to confess them and think upon good things. The Apostle Paul wrote, Whatsoever things are lovely and are of good report, think on these things. Jesus took time to prepare himself for the day. He spent hours in prayer before the day started. He accomplished so much, but those hours in prayer were so important, that time of fellowship with his Father. Maybe if we got up a bit earlier, read a Christian biography, a commentary on a passage from the Bible each morning and pray it in, we might have a better day. You see, it's our relationship with Jesus that will determine our state of mind throughout the day. Think on these things. Have a good day. Shall we pray? Shall we pray? Dear Lord, take care of my mind and don't allow these awful thoughts to continue. Help me think upon good, useful thoughts that are sweet and helpful to building others up 
and which will glorify God. I am sorry for allowing such rubbish to fill my mind. Fill my mind with, how would Jesus think about this situation, where I have anger, envy or hatred? I want to be like you, Lord. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partakers Think Spot. See you again real soon.